Hello and welcome to this demo of the bird rig from the other rig pro rig library blender add-on. This rig is part of a library of 24 animal rigs which can be bought at blender market. It's important to note that the other rig pro rig library is specifically built for the other rig pro rigging system. So you need to have bought that add-on for the rig library to work. Each of the 24 rigs comes with a locomotion animation and in the case of this bird rig that's a flying animation. Let me show you that from multiple angles. And I've animated this flying animation on 30 FPS and not on 24, because with the creation of uh, the rig and its animation, I kept compatibility with game engines in mind. So um, that's why I did that. Cool. Let's get back to the uh, overview of the features of this rig. Uh, first of all, the whole purpose of this rig is to act as a template rig that you can use to rig your own 3D model. So you should be able to rig any type of uh, animal which has a bird-like anatomy using this bird rig from the other rig pro rig library. Um, I've uh, included this block mesh. Uh, its its whole um, uh, function is to act as a visual guide to see. Uh, where you should place the bone, uh, should place the bones within your own uh, 3D mesh, but um, it's safe to simply delete it if you don't need it. Let me just get it back though, um, and let me turn the rig back on. Okay, let's uh, have a look at the features of the rig. First of all, you have this um, position controller, which is there to position the rig within your scene. You have this trajectory controller which you can use to animate the trajectory of the of the rig there's this root master controller which controls the whole rig and there's this root controller which is uh, there to control only the lower body so you can use it to animate the lower uh, body for a hip sway for example uh, here we have the tail mass controller, which you can use to animate all the tail bones at once. And the same principle with this, oh, sorry, with this uh, spine mass controller, which you can use to control all the spine bones at once. Let's then head on over to the head controller. Uh, let me turn on the tools tab and you can see that the head controller has this headlock property and what it does is well let me de demonstrate when i select the neck controller and i rotate it you can see the orientation of the head follows the neck um, but when i toggle this headlock property uh, then you can see that the orientation of the head stays facing forward even though i'm rotating the neck so that's pretty cool Okay, let me toggle that back. Uh, next up is the wings. Uh, let me turn off X mirror. Um, and um, by default, the wings are in FK mode. We can easily switch them with this uh, IK FK snap tool. So now it's in IK mode, so that's pretty cool. We have this uh, auto stretch feature. Let me turn that on. And when I then move the wing beyond its limits, you can see it's it starts stretching, which is nice for uh, any uh, cartoony uh, animations. We have this uh, arm twist property, oh, which is there, so you can. Uh, correct any deformation in the arm uh, and there's uh, um, we have elbow pinning let me turn that on or oh, wait let me first let's keep it off and when I uh, move the arm you can see that the elbow over here moves along but when I turn on elbow pinning and I move the arm again you can see that the elbow stays in place so that's pretty cool okay um, 
finger grasp is, is, is not something that's relevant for this rig. So, um, cool. Um, we also have some controls to control the feathers or part of the feathers of the wing. So here, just sections of feathers can be controlled this way. So you can think, think about using this to simulate some sort of wind animation going through the feathers. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Of course, you can animate each individual feather uh, as well. Okay, those are the wings. Uh, let me turn back uh, uh, FK, FK mode for the wing. On to the legs. Uh, the legs by default are in IK mode, but we can also easily snap it to FK. Um, <clears throat> the uh, let's get back into it. okay the leg also has this other stretch feature so uh, when I move it beyond its limit the leg gets stretched especially cool for cartoony animations as I mentioned before with a thigh twist to uh, correct any deformation in the thigh um, we have knee pinning so uh, right now you can see the knee just follows along, but when I pin the knee, there we go, when I pin the knee, you can see the knee stays in place when I move the leg. Pretty cool. Okay, um, on to the foot controls. Here we have this toe controller, which makes it possible to animate the toes all at once. We have a foot controller. Wait, let me just zoom out a bit. Controls. Well, rotates the ankle basically. And we have this foot roll controller, uh, which is pretty nice. Here, when we move it up or down, it simulates a foot roll. But what's pretty cool is when we move it sideways, you can animate a banking of the foot. Um, yeah, to be honest, I think I've covered uh, most of the controls of uh, of the rig. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me on Blender Market. I'm always uh, happy to help, but uh, thank you for watching.